About an hour later, Joe and Kim Cole awoke to a horrible sound. There was a terrible roaring coming from the other side of the camp, and fear filled them when they realized what was happening. The bear had returned. Mother Nature is a harsh teacher. She won't let you make the same mistake twice. Today we tell the tragic story of the death of Davis Loken, a 65-year-old retired nurse from California who came face to face with the savage Montana grizzly bear and did not live to tell the tale. It all began when Davis decided to take part in a Tour Divide bicycle race, a 2,745-mile ultra-endurance cycling event which runs from Banff to New Mexico. Davis embarked on the much-anticipated event with her sister and a friend. Like anyone enjoying her retirement, Davis was excited by the upcoming trip and made all the necessary arrangements. She packed enough food and clothes for several days. She even packed bear spray. But it wasn't enough. Grizzlies are some of the biggest predators in the world. The adult males can weigh up to 360 kilograms and be as tall as 3 meters when standing. They have razor-sharp claws, which grow up to 10 centimeters long, and the force of their bite is estimated to be between 975 and 1,160 pounds. That's enough to crack a bowling ball. However, while they are one of the most powerful members of the animal kingdom, it is relatively rare for them to attack. In the U.S., it's estimated that around 11 people die every year from grizzlies, which is statistically very low, considering there are approximately 58,000 grizzly bears in North America. To put this into context, you are more likely to be killed by a domestic dog, bees, or a lightning strike. However, when bears do become aggressive, it's usually because they feel threatened or are protecting cubs. In this case, it was because of food. Davis Loken was an experienced traveler. She only made one important mistake, but she paid the ultimate price. It all happened in the tiny town of Ovando along the banks of the Blackfoot River on 6 July, 2021. Davis, her sister and the friend had arrived the day before and Davis announced that she wanted to camp outdoors that night as it was warm and she had found the perfect camping spot behind a museum. Her sister and the friend didn't like the idea. They said there were reports of a wild bear roaming nearby. The town borders a sprawling expanse of forest that is home to an estimated 1,000 grizzlies. However, there was a Texan couple taking part in the cycle race named Kim and Joe Cole. They had also decided to camp outdoors and Davis said she wanted to camp under the stars with them. Her sister and her friend weren't happy, but they left Davis and went to a hotel. This is where things began to go bad for Davis. It was just after 3 a.m. that she heard a snuffling sound from outside. She wasn't sure what it was, but it sounded close and big. The bear outside was over 190 kilograms, approximately 417 pounds. After a few minutes, she heard a terrifying puffing through the tent, right next to her head. Upon hearing this, Davis immediately realized what it must be. Fear coursed through her, but she was used to tense moments. Being a nurse means staying calm in chaotic situations. She instantly reacted by shouting, bear, bear, at the top of her lungs, and jumping up and down in her tent. Kim and Joe Cole also woke up and made as much noise as possible. This was the right thing to do. Bears will almost always avoid humans if they can. In this case, the bear leapt up and ran away into the dark. Shocked and terrified, Davis gathered herself. The Coles comforted her and asked if she wanted to move to a hotel with her sister. Joe Cole said he wasn't comfortable leaving her alone in a tent with a bear on the loose. However, Davis was adamant she wanted to be outside. She said she knew why the bear had approached. There was a pack containing lentils in her tent. Had it not been for that, she said, the bear would never have come close. 
In an attempt to remedy her mistake, she immediately took every crumb of food out of her tent and stored it in a nearby building. However, she didn't account for the bear's incredible sense of smell, and she left a small bag of toiletries in her tent, a bag which had contained cranberries the day before. That tiny residue of food was all it took to attract the bear, and that mistake was the last one Davis would ever make. About an hour later, Joe and Kim Cole awoke to a horrible sound. There was a terrible roaring coming from the other side of the camp, and fear filled them when they realized what was happening. The bear had returned. Running out of the tent, Joe shouted, bear, bear, at the top of his voice, while his wife Kim started blowing an emergency whistle. The bear was only meters away, pounding up and down on Davis's tent. It stopped for a moment when Joe emerged and looked him directly in the eye, showing no fear at all. Joe thought that this was the end for him as well, but luckily he had bear spray and he quickly shot the entire can in the bear's direction. The bear turned and ran back into the woods, but it was too late. As Joe and Kim approached the tent, they saw a terrible sight that would stay with them forever. Davis had been crushed and dragged half out of the sleeping bag by the bear. There were horrible wounds to her neck and spine. She had died instantly, and there were no signs that the bear had begun to consume her body. This was at least a small mercy. The National Park Service later did a full report, describing this as a predatory attack and saying the bear must have been food conditioned, meaning that it had learned that humans regularly carry food and subsequently had lost all fear of people. A very dangerous thing indeed. They also said it wasn't only the food residue in the tent that had attracted the bear, but the surrounding park as well. Due to the fact that there had recently been 4th of July celebrations and the entire area was littered with leftovers. Soon after this, the bear was seen breaking into a nearby chicken coop. Authorities shot the bear on the 9th of July, after several days of tracking him to be sure that it was the right animal. DNA analysis from the bear's paws confirmed that it was responsible for Davis Logan's death. While nothing can make up for her tragic loss, at least Davis's family can be comforted by the knowledge that it won't take any more lives. Despite this horrific attack, bear experts maintain that most bears are peaceful animals and non-threatening to humans. The mistake that Davis made was to return to her tent after the first encounter. This probably emboldened the bear, which already lacks sufficient fear of people. Combined with the food residue in the park and her toiletries bag, this likely drove the bear into a predatory state. It's possible that a simple movement made by Davis, such as turning over in her sleeping bag, caused the bear to pounce as if it had encountered a prey animal, which ended in the sad loss of life, both for Davis and for the bear itself. How to be grizzly bear safe. Don't go alone. Groups are usually louder and more boisterous than solitary hikers so the bear is most likely to steer clear of you. Stay on the path. Bears will usually avoid areas where they think humans will be, so it's best to keep to the established routes. Make yourself heard by talking gently and loudly so the bear knows you are a human and not prey. Remain still, stand your ground, but peacefully wave your arms. This will help the bear see you as a human. Try to remain calm by remembering that most bears have no interest in you. They usually just want to be left in peace. On no account scream or make high-pitched yells. And never try to imitate bear sounds. This will only irritate it. Make yourselves look as big as possible by moving to higher ground or waving your arms. Putting your pack on can also help. Move away slowly while trying to be as non-threatening as possible. Don't climb a tree. Bears are very good climbers. Always carry bear spray. Never get between a mother and her cub. Never leave food out or containers which have food residue. Bears have incredibly powerful noses and they will smell it from miles away. 
If a bear is acting aggressive, leave the area immediately and safely. It's possible the bear has been food conditioned or habituated to humans. This can be deadly.